Welcome back to Aperture Science, where the bitches is fine and the science is finer. Or not. That was terrible. That was horrible. The game even lagged in disapproval. Well, at least in this- Mandatory scheduled maintenance. The Bitch, don't cut me off. This testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed Yay. for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. This episode, we get to encounter everyone's favorite portal turret. Testing the soft-spoken murder machines that inhabit this realm. Who are you? I am your doom. And what I'm about to do to you can't be showed on camera. Time Apparently they won't shoot each other shoot at each other, which kind of upsets me, but I guess it makes sense. I'm not sure if I'd call that good game design. Well, I would probably call that good game design, but I'd also call that a pain in the ass, because it'd be cool to have them shoot each other. And these things are really easy to get behind. Unfortunately, because of the nature of the game that Portal is, it winds up being a lot easier than was intended and they kind of rectify this in the second one a little bit I don't even know why I did that but they kind of rectify this in the second one a little bit with the addition of some more interesting uh, mechanics to the game oh hey look one of Ratman's hideaways uh, this is one of those places that you don't have to go but you can go it's like uh, world building, how the Valve games do it, because they don't use cutscenes, they let you figure it out for your damn self. I think that was what Half-Life was famous for. But anyway, because of the nature of the mechanics of Portal, it the game becomes really easy, um, unless you're purposely trying to screw up the way the puzzles are supposed to work, which I do a lot later in the Let's Play. But, uh, Portal, if you just, you know, do the puzzles the way they're laid out for you to do, and don't try to break them, it's a really easy game. A little bit difficult near the end, but even the boss fight's kind of a pushover, honestly. You know, in the second one, they were supposed to add floating portal turrets, that we're supposed to roam around the map. And I just got a face full of the whole bullet. They fire the whole damn thing to be efficient. Efficient, yes, but apparently the bullets they make aren't that strong. Which is funny, because they just reused Half-Life 2 assets. Yeah, I don't like getting shot by the turrets. And it's that fucking radio again! I think there's one in every level. Yeah, so portal's easy. If you can... Once you... F by the time you get to the momentum puzzles, if you haven't figured out the game by then, um, or if you figure it out by the game by then, you won't have any trouble with anything else. Honestly, most Val games are just kind of common sense logic puzzles. Even though I'm just going to cower behind the non-companion cube. And I'll get two bullets in the face, and I'll still fucking survive. Because long fall boots protect you from bullets. You know, I think out of every death that I've had through this entire playthrough, I haven't died to portal turrets. Which is funny, because in Portal 2, I will get absolutely massacred by them when I'm playing, especially in the co-op campaign, because you have to deal with them a lot. And, uh... <laughs> I like to jump the gun a lot. A lot. I'm just gonna place that there, get rid of the camera. And then I'm gonna place another portal and go straight through can't shoot me now because I'm behind you you know I wonder if uh, actually I guess Cave Johnson did design these turrets but I was gonna say if for someone who's so it quote-unquote intelligent GLaDOS she really doesn't uh, 
1, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. I forgot what I was gonna say, you stupid bitch. And you can't get rid of these cameras no matter how hard you try. Hey look, it's everyone's favorite fucking meme from this game. Next to the cake. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. I don't want to hug companion cube. I want you to destroy the camera. Or stand there so I can do it. Try, try, try as you might, you can't destroy these cameras tonight. Or tomorrow. Or the next day. You need the gravity gun for that. This is why Black Mesa was more important than Aperture Science. Also, I sat here for a minute trying to see if the or companion cube actually did say anything. Because in all the time I've played the game, I've never heard it. But in all the time I've played the game, I've never bothered to sit down and listen. So I figured I'd do it for the Let's Play. I probably didn't listen long enough, but I don't think it says anything. This is one of the puzzles that's a little bit harder than it looks on the surface, especially because, uh... commonly produced by Enrichment Center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. If I remember correctly, there's a part right at the end of this one where the um, you have to use the weighted companion cube to kind of bounce one of the high energy pellets off into the uh, receiver. Yeah, it's down in that room right there where I just removed the camera. And that was hard for me to get the first time I played this game. Uh, granted, the first time I played this game, I didn't really understand anything of Valve games. Well, you know, outside of Gary's mod, but that doesn't really teach you Portal much. Uh, in every Portal chamber, this is the one I hate the most. It's so long and quiet, and there's no one to talk to. I only have you, Companion Cube. Now stay there, and don't do anything. Yeah, this one. You can't, you can't portal in this room, you have to use the companion cube to basically knock the energy pellet into the receiver. It's not hard in theory, but if you're not really good at manipulating uh, the objects with the portal gun or gravity gun function that they decided to latch to the portal gun, it's uh, a little bit harder than it looks. They're a little bit harder than you'd think. I don't know, fucking pick one. <laughs> Thank you, physics engine. Hey look, I did it in one go. Uh, one of the big problems of the physics engine is it will damage you for no apparent reason. Especially if you're walking on props that aren't sat down. Or, like, welded or map elements. No, buddy, you can't go in there, it's not gonna fire. This one always confuses the shit out of me. Honestly, I'm not great at explaining how it works, but I did beat the game, so... If this is your first time playing, which I kind of doubt, but if it is, well... Enjoy Portal. If it isn't, then why are you watching this? Haven't you already beaten this game? It's a great game, but I mean, come on, people. Finally, he puts two and two together and decides that, hey, wait a minute, I can use these other things that are obviously shooting for a reason. What are they? Aperture Science High Energy Pellet Dispensers? The reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the Enrichment Center urges you to disregard its advice. Ah, uh, GLaDOS, you are the beginning of an internet generation's generation of problems. Like memes. Ugh, the memes. 
I'm not a big fan of memes. I guess there are some that are funny, but I don't. Random humor is not that funny to me. If that makes sense. I don't know. It used to be funny to me, but... I'm the type of person who will sit down with something that he likes and then completely screw up the puzzle, but I'm the type of person who will sit down with something that he really, really, really likes and then completely binge on it for like three, four, five weeks straight and then never touch it again or come back to it like five years later, which really sucks because I want to be the type of person who's able to, you know, laugh at something like everyone else can because all my friends are able to just sit there and laugh at the same thing over and over and over again and I think they're fucking nuts but go figure someday I'll be able to but not that I but I really wish I could just sit down and laugh at everything like all my friends do but I can't honestly I feel like an ass because I can't because they'll look at me like I'm like well, it was funny to you before? Well, yeah, well, that was before I watched it five weeks in a row and then got burned out on it. I don't know why I do that either. Hey, look at that. We solved the puzzle. But it's whatever. I usually find something once a year that'll make me laugh and I can enjoy it for like five weeks and then never touch it again. I also can't platform with a companion queue, but I can pretend. I can pretend. That's right, you can crouch jump in these games. <laughs> and we're going to go to the best part of the entire you did game. It. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. With pleasure. I forgot you had to press the button to open it, so I'm just standing here like a jackass, like, Hey, let me kill my companion cube. Is there a portal surface? There isn't a portal surface. How will I ever get in there? Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the enrichment center, aperture science employees, and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the companion cube euthanizing process. Yeah, sure, she says that now, but... Time to die, Companion Cube. Well, Goodbye, Companion Cube. Fuck you, Companion Cube. I did it quicker in my last Let's Play, or last playthrough, but I guess I'm just not cool enough for that. Well, this is fun. Well, guys, I think this might be our the last. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The enrichment center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. Haha! -ha, Wordplay. Well, guys, this is the uh, last bit of the recording because I had to split it because my game lowered. So I will catch you in part four. I hope you enjoy it. Later.